Hey beautiful, I hope you are keeping safe and well. Welcome to my YouTube channel. For those who I haven't met before, I'm Emma Ryder, Psychic Medium and Divine Channeler, and this is the Gemini Reading. Please bear in mind that all of my readings are timeless and you will find the guidance that is right for you when you need to hear it. Whether that is today, next week, next month, trust in divine timing. You'll always be shown what you need to hear just at the right time. Okay, so we're going to start with the Lightseer Tarot for the extended reading. I think we're going Troubadour Tarot, but we'll play that bit by ear as we get there. Okay, Gemini, what do you need to know? feel like as soon as I've started shuffling the cards for you it's almost like I've got a heavy weight holding my arms down it feels very much like you're feeling stuck you're feeling weighed down with something um I'm actually stooped over as well So you're definitely carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders, which is making you feel stuck, making you feel stationary, really weighing heavy on you. I want to say, I suppose as I feel physically it's have, taking its toll on you, but I also feel mentally and emotionally too. It's definitely weighing heavy on you and I'm hearing it's going to be a bright bright sunshiny day so I'd actually feel like the weight is going to be lifting <sighs> but it feels like you haven't got the energy to even contemplate how it's going to shift, how you're going to move forward, how it's all going to happen. It's like, <sighs> really? How? I haven't got the energy. I haven't got the motivation. I'm feeling very much weighed down to a stop. It is going to lift that sunshiny day look we're stood in the sunshine there that is the nine of cups you're stood in the sunshine you are uplifted you are in the moment feeling joy love contentment you are in love with that moment you're in love with life you're emanating love you're also feeling the love it really is that moment of elation, that moment of happening, jumping for joy. In some cases, maybe tears of joy, but there really is that sunshine moment where the weight is lifting from your shoulders and you are jumping for joy. Things falling into place. got the Queen of Cups so there's definitely a lot of love in the air and the Queen of Cups is about surrendering and allowing and there's a very fine line with surrendering sometimes especially when you're waiting for something wanting something knowing something is coming but maybe not coming as quick as you would like it but you're needing to sort of step back not be focusing on where we were up to and what's happening and when it's happening just know it is and there's a very fine line between that balance. But that balance needs to be balanced because that is when you are in alignment. That is when you will get your moment of jumping for joy. So if you're still not feeling this love happening, 
know that you're just needing to tweak that balance. You are there. It just needs tweaking. Not big changes, not mammoth tasks, just tweaking. Focus on what you know. Don't be focusing on how they're doing. There's a massive difference. And it's important. Then we've got the Hierophant card. The energy is definitely rising. You're in the moment. You're laughing. You're joyful. You're content. You're at peace. I want to say your heart is singing. And that feels like a really beautiful place to be. And when you surrender, you are in the moment. So there's definitely a massive focus on that moment of surrendering. On that moment of allowing it to happen and fall into place and all work out, happen. It really is time to jump for joy. So don't be taking the shine off the moment by worrying about. I want to say crap that isn't necessarily significant, but it's not significant right in your moment. Okay. Then we've got the King of Cups. So, so much love. I feel like the King of Cups is very much finding or found their peace because I feel like some maybe just not quite in that finding it found the peace but are discovering or finding their peace and their peace is in the moment with you but they're just on the way there. Which is reason to jump for joy. Know that they've got transitions. They've got a journey too. Think of how far your journeys come. And know that they're on their journey. And they are coming. You can jump for joy. Okay, beautiful. I'm going to head over to the extended reading now. I'm quite excited to see how this is unfolding. If this is where you leave me, then thank you so very much for joining me. As always, it is a pleasure. I'm truly grateful to be able to support you on your journey. Please do me a massive favour and like and comment on the video. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Take care, stay safe, and I will see you soon. Namaste. Bye.